Well, good morning and welcome down to Caris Green Golf Club. What an impressive clubhouse that is. That is a beautiful clubhouse. So, I'm down here for the PJ North Region Championship, so the kind of major for the North Region of the PGA. Um, I was lucky enough to be the last person to walk off this green last night. So I finished my practice round at 10 o'clock last night. It's just coming up to 7 a.m. and I'm back at the golf course. Stayed locally, just down the road, beautiful little B&B. &B. Um, and we are here for this. The reason why I had to get here so early, because I'm second group out, and you'll see it up on the leaderboard here. PJ North Region Championship, Carry Green. Now it is a two day event with a cut halfway. So I am um, there. Good spelling of the name, thank you gents. Uh, out with Alan Gibson and Gary Wilson home. Some of you might have heard that name before. Loads of guys playing. I say there's a hat, there's a cut halfway. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Go out and enjoy it. I enjoyed the course last night. It's one I definitely was happy that I managed to squeeze a practice round in. Um, I said I teed off at eight p.m. last night and managed to get all 18 in. There was a couple of holes I just kind of skimmed through, but I just needed to go and play it because I got told by Ryan O'Neill, actually, you've got to play it. You've got to go and play it. It's a really gorgeous complex down here. I love it. Little holiday homes and this is in Kendall in the UK. And it's an amazing part of, uh, of the world near the Lake District. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to get prepped. One hour to go before tee off and only five days away from open qualifying now. Hit the ball nicely in my practice round last night. I want to continue that form and go and rip it up this morning. I absolutely love this clubhouse. And I have seen images as well, which I'm not gonna be able to show you, but there's actually grass on the roof. There is a driving range, so I'm gonna see what time it opens at. <laughs> Check out this place. <laughs> so this is the golf academy, the Gary Wilson Home Golf Academy, down here at Caris Green. It is awesome. Love it. I'm actually playing with Gary himself today. Um, nice little indoor putting green simulator. Uh, that was a good practice. I'm going to go out on the putting green. Hopefully grab a little bit of breakfast and then go and smash it. I felt okay on the range. I'd get in there. So just been. On the range and a little bit of putting. Greens are looking beautiful. They looked amazing last night, but they were a fraction slow, but now they've uh, cut them and they've sped up. Leaderboard, all firing, ready to go. Much busier place now than it was this morning when I first arrived. And I've got a, another Rob on the bag, but a different Rob. 
A Rob with a beard that's on the bag, but a different Rob. Yeah. What's your, what was your surname, sorry, Rob? Waring. Rob Waring. He was nice enough to jump on Facebook last night and say, do you want a caddy? I said, yes, please. So that's what he's doing. He's going to be carrying this today and hopefully getting a few clips on camera. Uh, first hole just there is a par three, measuring last night about 140 yards. So, so I'm going to start. I'll try and get some footage out on the course, but it's not... It's not always easy on a big event like this, you know, guys, I have to respect the guys who are playing with me and I can't really just go out and film all the time, so I'll see what I can get. Either way, the plan is to do a summary, sat on that balcony later on and just enjoying the views. I'm representing Quest Golf Studio, Richfield. Right guys, so the round is over, all done and dusted. I'm here with Rob McCaddy. Looks similarish to Rob Potter with the beard. Rob McCaddy, longer. but longer. Yeah, 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 yours is longer. Rob did have one rocking like that, didn't he, at one point? It was a crazy cut. Yeah, yours is Lines. a proper, proper full beard. Anyway, let's get off the beard topic. I brought Rob into this today because I, I don't think you'll believe what I tell you <laughs> in the way that I played today. Um, it was an odd one, wasn't it? Yeah. It was an odd one. So I talked to Rob today. This was a, a two-day event. The first day was all about making the cut. And I put a target on my, on, in my brain of level par. And I played very tactically. Lots of middle fairways, lots of irons off the tee, lots of middle of the greens. And it was going to plan for a long time, wasn't it, Rob? Yeah. Did, did you feel like that front line was uh, controlled? Yeah, very good. It was very good. It controlled to an extent, Fairways, wasn't it? greens. When you missed a green, you were... Sort of. I wasn't far away. Good chips. It's the best I've struck the ball for weeks, and it was a massive confidence booster because I've been having a bit of a down spell over the last couple of uh, weeks, just not hitting the ball well at all. Uh, so the front nine played really, really solid. I was one under through nine, hold a fantastic foot on nine off the green, bit of a snake up the hill, the only putt really I hold all day. It was a massive pleasure as well today to play with Gary Wilson home and Alan Gibson. Fantastic players, very steady, steady golfers. Gary, if you, if you heard of Gary, he's a senior tour player. He has um, played in, I think, six Walker Cups. He's won many events. He's played in all of the majors twice because he's won the amateur championship twice. So a real class act. It was a real pleasure to play with him here at Caris Green. I love this facility. Anyway, let's move on. So nine was done, one on the par. Ten, I missed a little putt for par, which was a shame, but to level par. And, and again, it was what we kept saying to ourselves, that's, that's the target. We just wanted to be level par. Level par, yeah. Level par, level par, level par. So, coming down the 11th hole, par five, gave myself a great opportunity to make birdie, didn't quite hold, I thought it was in. Me and Rob yeah. were both celebrating, weren't we? <laughs> we were literally, it was in, and it just horseshoed out, came back, and didn't go in. And then, there was four holes then on the bounce, that I just, I don't know, how would you explain it? What, what, what do you say about those four kind of holes, really? It's just with the wind, it's just not being able to see the shot to get on the right side of the, of the slopes. Yeah, the, 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 there was four holes in a row where the pins were not unfair, but they were tucked away. And if you missed on the wrong side, it was game over. And guess what happened on the next four holes? I just missed the wrong side. Some of the pins were tucked up. There's like massive big two tiers. Like some of them were like massive, weren't they? 
these, these tiers in the greens and I just kept getting on the wrong side of the tier. My first putt was weak, I found the greens just a little bit slow to my eye, I couldn't quite get it to the hole on many occasions and then just missed too many short-ish short putts for the par. So I dropped two or three shots on a, on, a, on a bounce which was annoying and then came to the 11, 12, was it the 14th? 14th or 15th. 15th was the par. Five. No, it must have been the 14th. 14th, yeah. 14th, it goes into a little tunnel. 200 yard shot is ideal. I hit six iron, missed a fairway, granted, silly shot. And then just out of the rough, I was 165 yards away. Wind was slightly down and off the left. I said to Rob, I reckon just a little nine. And it just came out like a bullet. It never stopped, did it? And I hit it well, it, it wasn't thin or, I hit it well and it just came out like an absolute bullet, a, 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 a flyer. The definition of a flyer was that shot. And it went over the green, hit a tree, bounced down into knee high rough, we were very lucky to find it. And then hacked it out, hit a tree, dropped that down again, hacked it out onto the green, it's actually a really good shot. And then just missed the bogey putt, so I made double. Kind of from nowhere. It was really silly, the double. Like, it was, I was walking off it, because I was too over at this point. And I made the double, it was yeah. like... Great. I couldn't get that flyer out of my head. How much how far I got at 175? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon it was still going up at 175. Yeah. It was 165 to the flag. I hit 9 iron, which is normal my 150. And it just went... Sorry, we're doing this on the clubhouse uh, veranda. So there's, there's a lot of people looking at us in a bit of a weird way, but this, uh, this view's too nice behind. So, flyer over the back, came off with six, whatever. I was like, damn. So I'm four over now. Par three next, again. Pin was on the top tier, I hit it on the low tier. Very small top tier. That was though. a tough tee shot. Bunker in front of the actual tier where you had to get it. It was like there was no real way of getting to that pin. No. And if anything, I should have missed it long and right, and I missed it level and left. Again, couldn't make three, couldn't make the two putt, I had to make a three putt. So I'm five over. And, and it's gone from like one under to five yeah. over. And, and I promise you, this is why I brought Rob into this video. I didn't hit the ball bad. In that in that window of golf, in the, that window of, of holes, I didn't hit the ball bad. I just missed the, the target just slightly. Striking it beautifully. It did yeah. I did strike yeah. it brilliant. I did, I'm glad Rob's saying this because I don't want anyone to think, oh yeah, whatever, Rick, you just make it. Hitting target, it just just miss clubbing or miss clubbing or misjudging or, or it was just one of those it, it could have easily gone the other way. And we could be sat here now saying I'm three or four under, easily, Definitely. easily. So it's positives, I feel so much better after that. Anyway, par five, dead easy par five, three put it, knocked on in two, three put it again, just, and it wasn't, my putting wasn't bad, I just didn't hold anything. Just the greens were slower than what my eye saw them as. 17, bombed the driver, little flicking, didn't make birdie, last hole, this one, par three, middle of the green, two put, par. So five over, I don't think that's gonna make the cut, there's about 110 players in. There's actually only three players under par at the moment. Gary Wilson, home who I played with, was two under. Two more, oh. two more red numbers have just gone up. So now there's four players under par. Um, I don't think I made the cut. I think three over was my absolute max I needed to shoot. Level par was the goal. Three over. We've got to take positives because it means I now can go to Fairhaven tomorrow and have another practice round for Monday. And I'm honestly going to walk away and drive away from here today with a, a different level of confidence that I've been missing. Yeah. I, I, would you agree? Yeah, definitely. And I'll tell you what, this is, this is Caddy back up. Rob Potter, if you're watching this, this guy's got your back. This is, this is my reserve Caddy right here. He's been awesome, awesome today. So, almost there. Five days, to three, four, five days to go to open qualifying. A um, couple of practice rounds, and I think I'm good. I do, honestly. I think I control the ball. Get used to... Excuse me, I've just had a tuna baguette, and it's uh, still going down. Um, <laughs> you didn't realise it was this professional, did you? Yeah, well... You didn't realise it was like this. Um, one side note, I love this place. I love Caris Green. The golf course, the clubhouse, the driving range, the staff. I want to live here. This is where I want to live. It could it's, live here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So, if you're watching, the owners of uh, Caris Green, um, and you want to you put me up in a five-bedroom detached on the course, then feel free. Rob also just wants a two-bed bungalow. 
So, <laughs> that's the way I'll be going. Not too shabby. <laughs> no, it's been class today, so really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I'll be here again tomorrow, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm walking away with a level of confidence that I did not have at the start of today. Go and have a practice round tomorrow, get it back on track, get used to the speed of the greens and then burn it up. Um, felt good, felt like it's close, even though my score doesn't truly reflect it. That's why I wanted to get Rob on this video as well. Thanks, Rob. Honestly, yeah. you were a star today. Yeah, thanks, really yeah. do appreciate it. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the big button here. Comment below what you think about the summary. Um, hopefully you enjoyed a couple of the clips out on the golf course today that Rob filmed. Um, some beautiful clips. The, the backdrop here is just amazing. On. Don't nice like saying that word, backdrop. Um, we'll see you soon. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. I might do a little bit of video in tomorrow at Fairhaven just to get myself ready for the event. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.